So we have a Queen of Cups that's held in high honor here. Someone who's very loving, caring, compassionate, very emotionally balanced. be a meeting talk gathering group and a ten of cups there could be people talking <clears throat> could be a small group could be a family could just be a meeting to talk about a ten of cups situation a coming together of a family so someone may want to communicate with this queen of cups have a little chit chat about what they can do to make a ten of cups situation happen and this could also be someone who's talking with someone else, maybe family members or friends, about wanting to have a Ten of Cups situation. This is bringing a tower moment, unforeseen events and circumstances. So this could come as a surprise or shock that somebody wants to have this Ten of Cups. It could be a surprise to the people that this person is talking to about wanting to have this with the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> And it can also be a Queen of Cups who's talking about this with other people, about who they want to have a Ten of Cups situation with. And this could be bringing a Tower moment. Something is very shocking, surprising. Mm. Something is sh shocking and surprising about this Empress getting justice. Someone couldn't stop thinking about money. So maybe there was some sort of money issues. Um, this could be like a blended family situation or um, a meeting of the minds or coming together. Someone may see um, a Ten of Cups situation as a way to bring financial stability back to a situation. There's going to be a reason to celebrate, though. That came out sideways near future energy, now near future energy. So there's going to be a reason to celebrate. There was an emotional situation because of some sort of finances. So somebody could have been concerned about money, losing a job, how they're going to pay for something. Um, this could even be someone contemplating on how to pay for a wedding or how to support someone. There's a new cycle here. So someone wants to have a new cycle here with this empress. And they're trying to figure out a way how to do this. But they could be concerned that they don't have enough money to make this happen. Somebody wants to take care of this Empress. <clears throat> so we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. So there was a lot of conflict, a lot of people coming against someone, causing an emotional situation. So there could have been a lot of people in, you know, uh, someone's ear or this Divine Feminine's ear talking about money, what they should do, how they should get money. But their gifts are paying off. So there's something here that's working out in the favor of this Empress. Because uh, this Empress has divine gifts, talents, their hard work is paying off. They could be getting money for whatever gifts or talents that they have. <clears throat> there was a heartbreaking situation that was caused because too many people were trying to affect someone or attack someone. And it could have been this Empress. It could have been the person that wants to come towards this Empress. Someone is growing up or they're going through a transformation, a change. This could be someone that you've known since childhood. There was a lack of celebration here, so someone was upset in their feelings, they ended up in poverty, they didn't have money, they could have made a bad decision, a heartbreaking decision, whatever seeds they planted, they, they it wasn't growing, so they were not able to move forward, there was a lack of communication here, so someone may have decided that at one time, this relationship or situation wasn't going to go anywhere, but now they could be seeing this person as a treasure, this empress as a treasure. So maybe this person didn't like what this feminine did for work, but it has to do with their gifts or talents. So this could be someone who, you know, has like a platform, uh, a form of spirituality, like an unconventional uh, means or ways to make income. Okay. And this person may have wanted 
this person to stop doing whatever they're doing. Maybe they even offer to like take care of them if they quit doing whatever it is they do. Maybe they don't agree with it. Maybe they don't like it. Different belief systems could be significant. Uh, but there was some sort of communication that put something to a stop or a halt. Something is not moving forward or wasn't moving forward because someone ended up suffering financially. So if this is somebody who initially had some sort of plans to go towards an empress, um, they could have backed out of a deal or rejected an offer or changed their mind because of some sort of belief, sy belief system or something like that. And they could have lost a job. Um, something's got stuck for them. <clears throat> so there could be a lack of communication. Yeah, there's an emperor here, a masculine. So this is a masculine that may not have been in communication or whatever communication they made put a dead stop, a halt to something. But for this empress, this empress is strong, strength, courage, perseverance. They have money coming towards them. So this empress does have a way to make money and their gifts, talents, they're paying off. Okay, so this empress's hard work is paying off for them. And now it's this emperor who could be suffering financially because of a decision they made. High priestess in the reverse. So this person could be a religious person. High priest, priestess in the reverse. So this person could have a form of religion or, or something that's different than this empress. These came out sideways, justice, being restored, balance, being educated. <clears throat> Someone could want to send some sort of message about wanting to have this Ten of Cups situation. They want to communicate Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords, and Seven of Swords. So someone may want to communicate something about this Ten of Cups situation, and this is going to bring a permanent ending to someone being stealthy, sneaky, this may be a confession, ulterior motives. This person may have initially wanted to convert this person to some sort of religious belief systems that they believe in. Uh, but they could want to send some sort of message or truth or communicate, hey, I want to be, you know, I see a ten of cups with you. I see a future with you. Um, but this can also be an indication that once this person does this, um, this empress could say, hey, um, there, you know, I know that you were being manipulative, like this is over, there's a permanent ending here. So this could be a permanent ending to someone being stealthy, sneaky, being manipulative, or this could be an empress putting an end to um, a future Ten of Cups situation with this emperor because they know that they were being stealthy and sneaky, and they had ulterior motives as to what offer they were bringing to the table. So somebody is going to get a gift here, Ace of Wands. So maybe this masculine wants to give this divine femme a gift, give them their wand. Um, this king of there's a king of wands here, so someone could have been in their player energy, very non-committal. They were in despair. There's a king of pentacles here who may want to help give a gift or give a gift to this feminine. So this king of wands could have lost their opportunity to be with them because they were not compassionate and they were partnered up with somebody else working against them or holding secrets with the moon card in the reverse and judgment has been called <clears throat> so there could be a permanent ending here with this king of wands situation because they were being stealthy sneaky they could have been lying about what they were doing non-committal so they could have had a third party situation going on they could have been meeting up with somebody secretly they lost their financial security and their stability so because they were not compassionate and because they could have lied to this empress about what they were doing what was going on they could have lost a significant amount of money or their source of income but there's the king of pentacles here that wants to be generous to this empress and that is going to have this masculine in despair because they missed their opportunity to be with this empress. Else. 
getting anything from those. So, let's check these out. Someone here is an official person. <clears throat> and someone was being a coward, they were being sneaky. So someone was trying to pull one over on an official person here. Someone who could be a teacher, advisor. Prophetess is what I heard. Someone could be a prophetess. Someone could be a seer. So you could have spoken some sort of truth and it came true. You have an Ace of Cups situation. So there is an official person here that either wants to come towards this Queen of Cups or there is um, a love offer coming towards this official person. The, you could be the official person if you are the Queen of Cups. Someone did not have a positive outcome here for being stealthy and sneaky. So you could have cut them off because you found out that they were being manipulative and sneaky and lying. They were not being honest with you. And Ace of Swords, you have a victory. You're coming out of the wilderness and entering into a new cycle. So you have some good things coming for you. A victory, yes. Something is going to work out in your favor. Someone brought some bad luck upon themselves when they rejected your Ten of Cups, when they didn't see a Ten of Cups situation with you. They brought bad luck upon themselves. They could have been trying to get you off your path, but they were on the wrong path. They needed to be redirected. Because you're a high priestess, high priest energy, so you're an official person, high priestess. So they don't like what you do, they didn't like what you did. I'm, I'm strongly getting there could have been a difference of, uh, differences of religious beliefs or whatever that is. <clears throat> Conversion therapy could be significant. We have a Queen of Swords energy and someone being pissed. So there could be a Queen of Swords energy here who's pissed, or there's someone here who's pissed off because you're in your Queen of Swords energy. So you could have went from your Queen of Cups energy um, to your Queen of Swords energy, or this could be a separate female who's pissed off about a situation. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So there was a celebration here. Someone celebrated a third party situation. So there was a third party here. So this could have been a separate feminine energy. A queen of swords could have been a third party here. This person could have been an ice queen, cold-hearted, very manipulative, very draining. There's some sort of secret that's being exposed or brought to light about a ten of cups situation. Someone seeing someone as their wish fulfillment. They admire your gifts, your talents. Someone is admiring your gifts and talents. Why is this feminine so pissed off about someone else being admired for what they do? This person could be very jealous. So, yeah, someone in a third party or thought they could be a third party. Someone is very sad. This could be the ending of a third party situation. So this could have been a King of Wands who was involved with a Queen of Swords. And they could have gotten ghosted. They could have gotten left behind because this masculine wanted to come back towards this Queen of Cups. But they were not compassionate to this person. So... Um, the Queen of Cups could have known that they were being sneaky and stealthy and put a permanent ending to some sort of reconciliation. Oh, someone's definitely pissed. Someone is definitely pissed. So someone is very pissed because the gravy train stopped. Okay. Um, something was put to a dead stop. Could have been this third party situation, whether it was platonic, business, whatever the situation. Somebody was greedy. Gold digger kind of energy, energy drainer, vampire energy. Someone was just greedy. They were an anti-hero. They're left scratching their butt. So they're pissed off because they... They were very jealous and envious of this other person. They thought they were going to win. They could have been trying to sabotage someone. Someone just had their hand out. Someone just had money on their mind and they were thirsty, lusting. So someone was looking at someone as a gravy train, um, someone to support them. So this is someone who could have been concerned about being with someone just for finances, someone who could have been financially codependent on another person. 
Like, they only thought about money. They only cared about money and being taken care of. So this person is pissed off because somebody got cut off. They got cut off from finances. So if this masculine was dealing with a queen of cups and a queen of swords, and the masculine ended up losing their job or something because they fucked over and got instant karma with a queen of cups, um, this king of, you know, this emperor, whoever this masculine, this king of wands energy, could have cut off this queen of swords, and they were pissed off because now they're not getting some sort of money. They were draining someone. They were expecting to get some sort of money. And this could have been an emperor who was working with the Queen of Swords to get some sort of money from this Queen of Cups, and it didn't happen. You're just chilling. Take life one cup at a time. So, you know, while everyone's scrambling, losing their head, you could be waiting on divine timing for something to happen. Someone was a control freak. So someone lost control of a person or a situation, and they went crazy. Okay, so someone could have lost their shit through a tantrum, lost their mind, uh, because they lost control of a situation. They couldn't keep someone under their thumb. They weren't getting any more money. This person could be very unstable. I can't diagnose anyone, but I'm, I'm getting like a bipolar energy. Someone who's like goes back and forth control freak but i feel like it's like a feminine that is this way a karmic femme that is like a control freak in this situation they lost control of this tricky situation <clears throat> we have like an empress a mother figure Someone's watching. Someone could be surprised about what they see. This could be a mother figure that's surprised about what they see. Or this could be someone watching a mother figure and they're surprised about what they're seeing. Um, there's something significant about a child as well. Um, it could be a child who's watching. A mother or a mother who's watching a child. We have an, a masculine energy here. Who could have... Um, you know, okay, so if this is an empress who's coming out of the wilderness, coming out of the cold, okay, um, they may have been struggling, f trying to figure out which direction to go, trying to get a door to open, and they may have thought that there was a way out, or that they were at the right door, that something was going to work out in their behalf, and this emperor could have shut the door, or um, denied access to something, it could have been acting childish, um, so this is a mother figure and a masculine, so this is someone that someone had a child with. So this empress had a child with this masculine energy. Um, and this could be the king of wands that they had a child with. So a child is significant, a mother is significant, and this masculine. So this is someone um, yeah, who's relaxing and calm. Someone's chill. This could be the mother figure. So someone's watching this mother figure. They're trying to figure out why you're so calm. You should be losing your shit. Especially if you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. And all these doors are closing for you. There's a masculine that's trying to figure out how the fuck you stay so calm. Someone could be wanting to partner up with you. This could be your friend. You could have a friend that's calm, chill, that wants to help you out. There was something shocking about someone trying to hurt you regarding a house situation. Something was being illuminated about a house situation. So someone could have gotten kicked out from a home. Someone could have been being harassed at a home. Um, an eviction could be significant. Gang stalking could be significant. Someone is sitting back and waiting for something to happen. And they thought they had someone trapped. They think something is funny. It could be a group of people who are expecting to get some sort of payday or get some sort of money or payoff from doing something. There was something really shocking here and painful regarding a housing situation and trying to find a way out, trying to escape a situation so you could possibly get your child back. 
And this Queen of Swords energy, I mean, it says Queen of Cups. Yeah, okay, so this had to do with the Queen of Cups and being hurt regarding a housing situation. So this Queen of Cups could have had nowhere to go, trying to find a way out of this situation. And someone is trying to keep someone trapped using a child. This Empress is trying to find a way out of a situation. Maybe this person needs stable housing. This Queen of Cups could need a home. <clears throat> Maybe to get a child back. Um, this could be a child... Um, who may be wanting to move in with their mother or mother who... Um, this could be a young child or an adult child. Like, if it's an adult child... Um, this empress may live with their adult child. If this is a young child, this queen of cups is trying to get a home, a stable home, to get their child back. And this queen of swords is trying to stop this from happening. Why the fuck is this queen of swords trying to stop this queen of cups from getting her kid? This, that's pissing me off. Yeah, this Queen of Swords is playing games. Like, she thinks this shit is funny. There's an old married couple here. An older couple. Who could have wanted someone to be in poverty. Was trying to take something. They could have taken everything from this Queen of Cups. They were watching, spying, throwing curveballs at this person. I mean, they did a lot to hurt this person. And it had something to do with a home situation. So it's like someone... And this Queen of Swords could be part of this married couple. Or it could be someone else altogether. But there's definitely a married couple here, an older married couple. Who could have taken everything from a Queen of Cups and put them in poverty. They could have been being coached by a Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords is very vindictive and spiteful and just very cold-hearted bitch. You know, someone was wearing a disguise here, trying to make sure that someone stayed out in the wilderness, that they had no place to go. There's a big tower moment coming. There was something shocking about someone hiding some sort of secret. There was some sort of secret about why someone was wanting someone to be left out in the cold, that they could have been throwing rocks, hiding hands, that they had... They're connected to this. This Queen of Swords could have been coaching this married couple... Or knows this married couple. This Queen of Cups is trying to get like their child or custody of their child. Or they want their child back in the home. There's a, a Queen of Swords who could be trying to fight for custody of this child. It's not theirs. It's not their child. They're, they could be connected to the, your ex. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So that you're trying to get this door to open. Like you're doing anything and everything to try to get a door to open. This tower moment could be that you're going to get a door open that no one expected you to get open. And someone's spell work is going to backfire. So someone spent, sent legit spell work or did some sort of magic. They said a prayer to fuck you over, whatever the case. They were doing shit to stop doors from opening for you. But their, their suit fell off. Their disguise fell off. This emperor's disguise fell off. They're not an official person. They're, they're into some sort of dark magic. This could be your ex and a queen of swords. So your ex could have hooked up with queen of swords. And maybe she wants to be your kid's mom or some shit. And she's trying to make your life a living hell. Someone found out that someone was doing spell work. Like witchcraft or something. Yeah, someone's trying to scare someone. To put someone in fear. So someone's trying to send some scary shit your way. This could be like entities, demons, whatever. Um, this person is doing... They did some sort of witchcraft. And there's a feminine here who's trying to scare somebody using some sort of magic. This is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. 
So maybe this Queen of Swords thinks if she can get your child from you that she can keep this masculine and they won't come towards you. There was some sort of soul connection to someone here. So you had some sort of soul tie or soul connection to this person, this ex of yours. Someone's being watched. A couple is like being watched or watching someone. <clears throat> it could be this couple who's being watched. This older married couple. else out of there, so I'm just going to move on. <clears throat> so this older married couple could be spying and watching you for this Queen of Swords to see if your ex is coming back around. Someone can't be still. Aquarius energy could be significant, but someone can't stand still. Something is not still. Something, someone's so restless. It's like someone just can't stand it. Someone could be lacking energy, restless, lacking energy, depression, anxiety. Someone is stressed out. Like they are really worried about something moving forward for you who is in the upright. They, they were trying to drain your energy and make you restless and stress you out with some sort of magic or something. Uh, hexing, cursing, I don't know that. I'm just getting witchcraft, whatever that is, like whatever kind it was. Oh, Capricorn could be a significant deal. <clears throat> Devil energy, someone could want to partner up with you and make a deal. There's a partnership, someone may want to work with you. So someone is restless, they're... Maybe someone can't stand the fact that you and your ex can work together to co-parent or something like that. Like, someone is just can't stand the fact that you could be entering into a partnership or a business partnership. Someone had really bad intentions for you. They were trying to sting you, trying to hurt you. It's this energy drainer. It's this queen of swords. What the fuck? Someone wants to work with you, and someone's losing their shit about it. <clears throat> someone is really losing their shit because somebody wants to work with you. Or that you work really well with someone, and someone's a coward. Someone's weak, sneaky, stealthy. They were trying to weaken you. Trying to drain you. But it didn't work. So now they could be feeling tired and restless. Whatever spell work they sent towards you, they could have done like a souring jar or some shit. The thing people don't realize is if you if you play on the darker side of things, you know, um, you know, the left-handed path as they call it, you better be careful when you send shit to people who don't deserve it. You better make sure you know what you're doing and that you're doing it for the right reasons and that someone deserves it. That's all I'm going to say about that. It belonged to my grandfather. He was buried in it. So family heirloom. There's definitely something significant about family, possibly an inheritance. Someone was trying to take an inheritance or someone could have tried to be with someone just for an inheritance or money. A lawyer could be significant, an official person. Someone could have been trying to take someone's inheritance or something significant about a family so that could have to do with that child. Someone could just want a child for money, for money purposes, like for child support. Or someone is pissed off, this Queen of Swords may be pissed off that this masculine had to pay you child support. And so this Queen of Swords thinks that if she can get your child or get custody, hope your ex get custody of this child, that 
um, she'll keep the masculine and keep the money, keep child support. The important thing to remember, Jim, is we always have what is called the element of surprise. There's something shocking and surprising that's going to happen with an official person, with a lawyer, regarding a court situation. Nothing stresses me out except having to seek the approval of my inferiors. So someone thinks they're better than you and they think they're going to catch you off guard regarding a court or legal system. This could be someone sneaking up some like custody bullshit up on you. Fear is what it's all about. You can you cannot sell while undergoing fear. You need to vanquish fear. One must wrestle it to the ground. Someone's trying to scare you and stress you out regarding child, your child, a custody situation. I know everything about film. I've seen over 240 of them. So someone's really cocky and arrogant. They thought they knew everything about a situation. Maybe they knew that you got some sort of money or an inheritance or there's some sort of money that could be connected to a child. Um, and someone really thought they knew everything about something. Um, just doing my job. This could have been someone who's trying to copy or imitate what you do for work. Ah, I, humor, I have it too. But something is funny. This It's funny because this person can't compete with you. This Queen of Swords could have been trying to compete with the Queen of Cups. Not only take... <laughs> I don't know if I want to call this King of Wands a Divine Masculine. I, I don't know if I want to go that far. But this female wanted to take your man, take your child, and try to do the same kind of work as you do. But it's laughable. It's so funny. Like, it, this could even be amusing to you. Like, maybe you're going to laugh a little bit when this spell work backfires on this person. Yeah, this Queen of Swords was not innocent. She was pretending to be innocent. Well, I'm just doing my job. I'm just looking out for my husband. You know, maybe they're married. I don't know. This is crazy. She's not innocent, though. I never let anyone walk behind me. Seven out of ten tax come from the rear. So you didn't trust this person, and for good reason. Like, you know this person can't be trusted. Maybe she wanted to be your friend. She could have tried to be your friend. Play all nicey-nicey. Like, oh, we're going to, you know, co-parent. Like, we're going to work together. I'm going to, you know, be there for your kid when you can't be there. You know, just... Oh, God. <clears throat> you know this crazy bitch can't be trusted. She's crazy. She's the one that lost her shit. Back when the Garfield cards was coming out. And the Ren and Stimpy cards. That's who that was. That's the Queen of Swords who's unstable and losing their shit. The Queen of Cups is very stable. And a high priest or priestess. And this person is a dark practitioner. So the Queen of Swords could be the one who came up as the high priestess in the reverse energy. He's all came out sideways. You're holding yourself back. I found it again with you. Talk to you. Talk to me or call me. So this masculine, there's a masculine here that can't just, they just can't let you go. They want to talk to you or call you. They're holding their self back. Someone wants to talk to you. They still have feelings for you or someone does have feelings for you and they want to call you, reach out to you. Um, this could be a friend. Or someone that you considered a friend or that you thought was your friend. They're holding themselves back. They feel like you're going to reject them. Maybe because they rejected you. If you knew what I did, I came out sideways. Well, chances are, if you're a high priest or priestess, you probably already know. Um, but somebody did something really shady to you, and they were being stealthy and sneaky about this shit. And there's something significant about a friend, whether it's yours or theirs. They could have had a friend that was in their ear trying to talk them out of coming towards you. Or choosing somebody else over you. Excuse me. <clears throat> there could have been something significant about a raid, drug bus, SWAT team, or some sort of law and, uh, you know, CPS, uh, authorities, <clears throat> police could be involved, be significant. You really don't know someone. 
someone really thought that someone was their friend, but they could have been the ones that called. So if there was like police or some sort of investigation or something that came up on you, you may have thought this person was your friend, but they're the ones that did it. You won't be surprised. There's competition that you don't know about. This person was competing with you and you didn't even know it. And this person could have been the one to call authorities on you. They could have said that you were a drug addict or something. So you could have had some police like show up at your door. Oh God, they needed to speak the truth, but they told a lie. <clears throat> they lied about you. Yeah. Because they were jealous and envious. They wanted you to have troubles. Yeah, I, I need to clean out my closet. Someone is holding secrets and they love you. Or someone is saying that they love another person. So someone is secretly in love with someone, but they fell for a trap. And so you could have moved on because something is over. So if they fell for a trap and ended up getting married or being connected to this person, you know, um, that's, you know, they're kind of their problem. This person's anxious. Someone's anxious. Because this person could know that this person may still have has feelings for you and there are children involved. Someone's anxious because someone told them to leave them alone because they were guilty and they were trying to cover up something. A bald spot's hard to cover up. You have divine protection though. So this masculine may be ghosting this queen of swords, kicking this person to the curb if they find out what this feminine did because they secretly still love you and they haven't told you something um secret society religious group or cult organization is re involved someone got released from jail unexpected money or an inheritance so someone was trying to keep someone trapped or steal some sort of money or an inheritance and they could have went to jail or they could have tried to get someone arrested so they could steal this from them there's something that this group is not seeing clearly, though, when they tried to cancel your plans and screw up shit for you because they were trying to cover up illegal activities. So you could be going with the flow, moving on to calmer waters. Someone's getting put back to square one. Someone could have thought they were going from rags to riches. Leo could be losing a ten of pentacles, their financial security and stability. Someone thought they were going to be going from rags to riches. A Leo did, and it didn't happen. It's the opposite. So there's a Leo here that's going to lose a significant amount of money. The summertime is significant and one in a million. So something really good and a positive outcome is going to be happening in the summertime for someone who is seen as one in a million. <clears throat> yeah, someone brought some trials and tribulations upon themselves. They felt they went off the wall, fell off the wagon, so they lost their shit. They could have indulged in some sort of substances um, while they were busy calling the cops on you, trying to stir up bullshit for you trying to get your kid taken away this person could have snapped there because they're mentally unstable and they're very cold-hearted they don't care about what happens to you or your kids just what they get out of it just because they want money they want someone to take care of them someone is your opposite opposites attract here They're not getting a moment in the sun. They don't have a positive outcome. So this person is like your complete opposite. But better late than never. Um, it could also be that someone who is opposite from you. Or someone that you normally wouldn't hook up with. Um, wants to hook up with you. Or wants to be with you. You reap what you sow. 
someone's not getting a positive outcome when it comes to stealing something from you. They thought it would be like stealing candy from a baby. Uh, they wanted you backed up against the wall. Thick as thieves. They did not have a victory. Something is leveling up for you. Something is going to the next level for you. Someone's trying to take some bullshit to the next level and they're not going to be victorious. They're not going to succeed. And this person lost their temper. These thieves. These people who are thick as thieves or this person who is thick as thieves with your ex or whatever the case is. They lost their shit. Because they didn't get whatever they were trying to steal. Anything else? Yep, someone was as white as a sheet. They're scared. They lost their shit. They were scared. Someone's getting a wake-up call, though. So you could be getting a call in the morning. Or someone is literally getting a wake-up call. Like, they're figuring shit out. Someone didn't want to see the light. They refused to change. They refused to grow up at their age. Instead, they chose to try to attack you and take everything from you and keep you in a state of poverty, homelessness. Take your child, take your man, whatever the case. They didn't read between the lines. So, while someone's getting a wake-up call, someone else is just losing their shit because they refuse to go through an ascension to change, to see how their actions are coming back to, on them. <clears throat> Anything else? Alright, so... Yeah, someone struck out. Too many times. Too much bullshit. Someone's not happy. I think this Queen of Swords is in for a world of hurt. Maybe even the King of Wands, too. When he gets his wake-up call. Because I feel like this Queen of Swords didn't want to see the truth. They didn't want to get the wake-up call. F could be significant. Person, place, or thing. Okay. I had a bunch that flew out on the table. So I have MM, so I have two M's. YY, so my, my, someone saying mine, 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 mine. Like someone's a greedy ass little biatch. <laughs> And you. Ooh. <laughs> so I have F U K M Y M Y W E. So fuck my my we. Ooh. Okay. Someone's definitely greedy. They're like, nope, fuck you, fuck you. This is mine, 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 mine. I. Someone's so full of themselves. A. AI, artificial intelligence, could be significant. Someone's watching you. This person's stalking you. Like, they're trying to copy you so bad. And they're so... It's like, it's laughable. And E again. <clears throat> Amy could be significant. That could be someone's name. Um, so, yeah. F-U-K-M-Y-M-Y-W-E-A-I-E. -E. I hope this helps. Have a good day.